Being like sounds of the king of the internet. Oh, I like that. All right, on the line now, uh, she is uh, lovely, beautiful, and we're coming to find out she's very talented. The One of the stars from Basketball Wives LA, All she right. is none other than... Uh, Bailey! Brooke. Hi, Brooke. Bailey. Hi. Brooke, what's going on hey, with you, love? Hey, Brooke! How you doing? Hey, All right, so, so, you know, your cast for this reality TV show... Yes. Uh, what is it? Uh, basketball, basketball Wives. L.A. Uh, L.A. It's been very interesting this Harry. season. Wow. Right. Now, how, how did you get cast for this this role anyway? Uh, producers that I worked with, with Candy Girls, introduced me to the production company um, Shed Media for Basketball Wives L.A. And I interviewed with them, <coughs> and they loved me, and I had a meeting, and they cast me. Right. Now, what is your connection as far as being a, a basketball wife? Because, I, I mean, I read that you were... Um, he was dating a player, right? You was dating Rashad Lewis or, yeah. or, or something what like that. What does he play for? Uh, Miami now. Well, oh, okay. I was actually dating Vernon Macklin on the show. Yeah. Oh. Uh, right. Who played, he was a rookie for Detroit Pistons. And, um, I mean, I think everyone is kind of over the fact that it's called basketball wives and everyone is not a wife. Yeah. I've worked in entertainment for the last seven years now, so I'm here to entertain, you know, and I am affiliated, so I think that that right there is enough to make me associated, and my storyline might be a little bit more interesting than a wife, you know? Yeah. Well, you don't think that uh, old girl, what is her name, Laura, is it Laura was throwing some shade in that interview when she mentioned that um, she did her time, she paid her dues or whatever because she's been with her um they're still just boyfriend girlfriend. Are they engaged, right? No, they got married. I, I think. Did they get married? Well, the whatever show. they are, she said that she paid her dues and she was basically like, uh, she thinks the show needs a whole revamping because there's some chicks on there that are just there that don't bring anything to the table as far as like their relationships with basketball players. In so many words, she was saying groupies. Right, but I definitely can confirm that she's definitely not talking about me. Mm. Yeah, because I thought you guys were cool. You guys seem to have a good relationship yeah. on the show. So would you, I mean, at any point in time during your, uh, I don't even know if you could call it a career, but uh, would you have considered yourself a groupie, a basketball groupie? Or? Never. Um, I've been married twice before. I have three children. You have three kids, right? Yeah. I have three children, yes, and I've been married. And, um, you know, All right, so, um, um, yeah, so it's a beautiful thing. You, you wouldn't consider yourself a, a groupie uh, per se, but you've... You, Dated one or two basketball. So Rashad Lewis, that never happened yeah, at all. Where did that come from? That came from the blog. Mm. Oh, okay. So there was never any relationship between you and Rashad Lewis. I mean, we've been in the same location at the same time, but no, did we date? No, we didn't. That doesn't make me dating someone. Okay. No, we didn't fuck. We didn't fuck. We didn't have sex. We didn't kiss. We didn't go out. No. Yeah, because the whole thing on the blogs was that you were dating him and while he had a, a girlfriend. So, wow. you know, so I'm glad you cleared that up. So there's no Richard Lewis. Okay. Are you still talking to Vernon? Um, I mean, we're cool, but we're not dating anymore now. He's kind of young. Was it the age thing? Because, you know, who are the well, women? I like young bulls. I don't have a problem with a young Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> so... Do you usually get to, to the uh, high school around three-ish? Oh, oh, my God. <laughs> Did you really just say that? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Now, how old are you, Brooke? You, you, you have to be in, like, your mid-30s there. How, how old are you? I'm 35. I'm 30. 35. Okay. And you look good, girl. So. Very good. Thank you. Thank All you right, so much. so it is what it is. Now, you. there's also been a lot of, um, I guess, tumultuous times, a lot of turmoil. On the show, yeah. yes. Yeah. On the show, especially dealing with you, what's going on with that? Is it just for a show or, or, or what? Because I know you had some issues with a few of your cast members. Yeah, yeah. Drea, like, are we you still just... friends with Drea? Or... Uh, you guys are going to have to keep watching for that. Okay. Um, and the Bambi situation, she was delusional because I never had a situation with her. She had one with me and she never really confronted me about it. And the situation with Jackie. That was just kind of something that happened because Jackie's never really clear about what she's saying no, she, when she's yeah, talking. She, and I, I, I like to be clear about things. So when, you know, once we cleared it up and I ended up having to put hands on her, then after that, we, you know, got it clear. 
and we got a clear understanding of what really needs to go on when she talks to me. I oh, think sometimes God. Jackie just says stuff. She is odd. Like, yeah, she, <laughs> she just says it stuff. Was alcohol involved, yeah. and she was just talking out the side of her neck, and I was just like, I'm over all you bitches at this point. So, so did y'all really? The most oh. part, did we what? Did y'all really oh, no. fight? I read. Y'all yeah, heard what you said I, I, in the interview. Like her you hair popped was off. messed up and everything, but they didn't yeah. show it. It popped off. <laughs> I, I read another interview where she talked about it. I saw her hair. I'm like, yes. what happened to Jackie hair? Yeah, I really beat her ass. Oh, I really yes. Beat. You went <laughs> in. Yeah. It was written all over her weave after the fact. It sure was. <laughs> wow. Yes. Yeah, and you had you 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 know what you had the scary um cuz I saw the clip. I'm not a, a a huge basketball wives fan, but I saw the the clip post fight and you had this uh gang of saliva that formed in your mouth <laughs> that proved to a nigga like me this bitch is for real, guys. Yeah, yeah. 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 When that happens, you know it's on and popping. I seen this. I seen her yeah. talking, and the saliva just started. I said, "Oh shit!" Yes, <laughs> she about to bite a nigga on this goddamn show. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah, it, it, it really. I mean, it got so real to where I blacked out. Like I was like, "Oh shit!" her kicking me and when she kicked me after that I don't remember anything until security was trying to get me up off of her. Now Jackie knows yeah. better than that. She's too old. Yeah. She's too old to be that. kicking people. Like, but you... you know what? I have to give Jackie props because out of all the girls that I pressed and confronted about little sneaky shit or the sh shade that they were trying to throw, she's the only bitch who stood up and was like, you know, this is what I'm saying. She mm -hmm. never backed down from what she was saying. So I kind of respect her for that. You know, okay. I, she is an older lady, but I got to give her props because every other bitch that I pressed was like, did you say, you know, or do you have a problem? They was all like, no, no, no. So, you know, can, Jackie can, kept it 100. Can we talk about this King Magazine issue between you and Drea? I don't even want now, to. Oh, my gosh. I mean. I'm so sick of talking about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, it, to start off with, just how close were you and Drea when the show, when you joined the show? Um, I mean, we were associates. We weren't the best of friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So, the other night when she said something about, you know, if she would have done the shoot, it would have been a different story. Now, are you feeling a certain kind of way about her since you saw that she said that? Because I know y'all don't know what's being said while y'all are right. filming. You know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, I feel the same way that I felt about Dre from the beginning. I felt like Dre was cool. We were on a cool, casual level, you know, of a relationship. I've always felt like Dre was a fun girl. She's never been a model. She's never my competition in the industry. You know how does at her business and I respect however she's going to get her money that's cool but what I can't respect is if you want to pop your collar that's cool but bitch when you pop in your collar don't try to unpop mine because I want you know yeah last years and being a model is just one avenue of things that I've done in life I've been a business owner I mm -hmm. went to cosmetology school I own my first hair salon when I was 21 years old I've owned franchise burger stands. I've done that, you know. I've dibbled and dabbled in a lot of things, and I've always been successful at everything that I've done. So I've always been a very supportive friend. So at any point of, you know, if she would have walked in that shoe and she wasn't really comfortable with it and she would have pulled me to the side and told me, you know, this is how it was supposed to be, I would have been like, well, bitch, let's kill this shit together because that's the type of person that I am. Yeah, so when she throw me stage, then, you know, that was unprofessional on her level. So, you now, know, did you say what she, it is. Did you say she wasn't a model or something to the effect? She wasn't. She was a, yeah, she was a fun girl. She wasn't a model. Oh. Yeah. What's a fun girl? Oh, no, hold on. I had a, a few fun bitches uh, in my day. So I know what a fun girl is. I mean, girl well, is. I don't know what a fun girl is, so. She's done modeling, but the basis of her career started from her fucking Christmas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Okay, I get it now. Yeah. She's a, a fun right. girl. Okay. <laughs> that kind of fun. Yeah. Speaking of when, when you're dating a rapper, oh. of course you get it on in other people's videos or their videos because that's what you're around. You know, it doesn't mean that you're so, you, that you're a model. It doesn't mean that. Oh. She's never had to do auditions. She's never had to do the things that I've done to build my career. She didn't have to learn protocol. That's why when it came to business, she fucked up. 
Okay. Right. All right. All right. All right. Listen, it is, it is what it is when it comes to Dre. I, I still think she's a, a little a hot piece of a nookie there. Of course he probably, does. I'll probably take it down. Of course he does. Oh but, you know, uh, that is what it is. Now, also, um, you've recently had some sort of, I guess, Twitter beef there with, with uh, young Natalie Nunn. What's going on oh with that Oh, my gosh. Situation? I was going to ask about that. <laughs> Who is that? Oh. oh. I guess that <laughs> clarifies that. Well, Natalie Natalie Nunn is so a gonna yeah. I, I'm going to explain this. She is a uh, female who um, I, I think she's had some form of success in in, in reality know, television. In reality yeah. television. Now I will say this: Natalie Nunn does tend to think too highly of herself. Hmm, but just a she, little bit. Yeah, she does. She does. But I guess she felt the need for whatever reason to call you out on um, a few different things. One, namely, being your attributes, which to me, baby, it doesn't matter whether they're uh, real or fake. He's going to love them regardless. <laughs> I, I whacked off to you about two hours before the show. Oh, my goodness. Uh, just because that's how I do. Okay, well, let me tell you this. First of all, no blog can ever call me out on anything or throw me shade that I'm going to ever take seriously. That's first. Second of all, I've stated this several times. When I first started modeling in the industry, I was a size two. Now I'm damn near a size eight. I'm thick as fuck. Everything on me is real except for my boobs, and they're cashed out. I never had to make a payment on them. I always had big boobs. I had my first child when I was 19 years old. By the time they're, my first two children are 17 months apart. So I went and got breast augmentation to restore them to their youthfulness to match my face and the rest of my body. And I mean, Other at the end of the day, it's your, it's your business. So you yeah. want everything looking tight and looking right. So I'm, I'm not mad at that. So, they, But there's no butt injections, only the breast. <laughs> no. I yes, understand. this my breast. That's it. I didn't understand why she felt the need to post that picture that she posted of you when you were younger and a lot thinner. You know what I'm saying? Like, have you had any kind of interaction with her before this? Um, besides her kissing my ass on the king shoe, no. Yeah, no. What now? What happened on this king shoe? Because I read something. Uh, I guess it was on your Twitter feed about her kissing your ass uh, on a king shoe. What, what, what actually happened there? What was that situation? Um, I okay. When I did the show Candy Girls. She was going in on, you know, the same shenanigans with one of my other castmates. And um, I don't even remember how I got into, I don't, how I got in that conversation on Twitter. That was in 2009. And so when I, but I remember her talking shit to me. So, shoot, when I'm there filming and doing the shoot, so I'm working double time. I confronted her and I was like, you don't re why she's trying to be my friend because she sees I have cameras here. I said, you don't remember all that shit she was talking on Twitter? Like, bitch, I told you, fuck a blog, dog, because one day we was going to meet and she was like, oh, no, that was so long ago. Blah, blah, this, that, and the other, kissing my ass, topping, please. And then she get on Twitter and she want to pop off. I mean, I see this chick bopping around in the clubs around L.A., and every time I see her, she acts like she, she walks around with her head down. She don't even look at me. Mm. Walks around, she acts like I'm her pimp, like, for real. So she she walking around looking at the ground. She don't want to look up at me and get no eye contact, period. Wow. wow. That's because your whole family is pimps. Man. I know, right? <laughs> you ain't recognize goddamn game. Shit, I probably yes. walk around with my head goddamn uh -huh. down. <laughs> I thought this was interesting watching the show when Malaysia was on the phone with you and talking to you about your party, and she was trying to be funny. And we're at home, we're like, oh, damn, she was trying to play her. Right. And then you apologized to her at the restaurant when you guys met up before you got in a fight with Jackie, and she played it off right. like it was nothing. Like, what are you talking about, Brooke? You know, innocent. And, 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 like, looking right. back, were you like, damn, she really played me? Yeah, I was like, she's fake as fuck, and that's how I feel to this day. Mm. Oh. Mm. Don't take this the wrong way. Have you ever had to play like the casting couch role to get get any anything you've done? Of you, you earned everything on merit. I've earned everything on merit. But a, a lot of the females there, I'm, I'm, you know, I, I think it's just the the. So you're not a fun girl. That's yeah, what you're saying. That's, <laughs> she's not. A I'm a fun girl too. I hear that. But I'm not a fun girl just on every anybody's couch, and I'm definitely not going to be a fun girl to get a job for a couple dollars. I don't have to do that. Like, I could lay in my bed and 
make a couple dollars by myself by making phone calls and sending a couple emails out. I don't have to lay on the couch to get, you know, $1,500 here. That's not a whole lot of money to me. Right. Now, if you ever decide to leak any bathroom pictures... <laughs> He would love I'll to have them. He would love to first. have them first. Yeah, I'll please do. Because I got a yes. sneak peek of your nipple on there. It's amazing. Oh, my oh. God. Oh, my God. Lord have God. mercy. 